friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. We're going to stride across the land. We're going to climb mountains and hike along endless plains. We're going to go to the edge of the planet and hop from one island to another. Today we're going to get to know its relief. The relief is much more than a geographic book full of maps and colors. Relief is this. Look! It's nothing more or less than all the different landforms of the Earth's surface. These shapes that you can see are the result of millions and millions of years of work by internal and external agents. The internal agents are the movements that take place inside the Earth when tectonic plates move together and separate modifying the Earth's crust. And the external agents, on the other hand, can be rain, wind, or waves that crash, wearing down and even remodeling the land, until they create these huge cliffs. Yes, the relief has many forms, and to get to know them, we are going to divide them in two groups. Inland relief and coastal relief. Inland relief is that which is not in contact with the sea. Here we can find mountains, plateaus, valleys and plains. The mountains which are large elevations of land sometimes rise so high that they are lost in the clouds. The mountains, depending on how they are grouped together, form mountain ranges or ranges of hills. This one you see is the Andes Mountains in South America, where this family of llamas live. Hey guys, is it cold up there? Mountains sometimes wear down and form plateaus. That is, flat surfaces that are at a high altitude. Like the plateau of Rhonda that looks like a city perched on a mountain, doesn't it? Between mountains lie valleys, which are usually very fertile because it is where the rivers flow through. And these that you can see here are plains, which, as their name suggests, are large flat areas. Hmm? The plains are perfect for growing crops, raising livestock or for running around. The coastal relief is found in the areas closest to the sea. Here we find beaches, cliffs, peninsulas, capes, gulfs. <laughs> and look, this sandcastle is pretty cool, isn't it? Cliffs are high, rocky terrains where the land meets the sea. For example, the famous cliffs of Dover in England. Have you seen how white the rocks are? They look like they've been painted. In the coastal relief, we also find peninsulas, which are areas surrounded by the sea on all sides except for one. The piece of land which joins to the continent is called an isthmus. The Iberian Peninsula, where Spain and Portugal are located, is one of my favorites. Capes are areas of land that enters the sea. They look like unfinished bridges, don't they? 
Gulfs are just the opposite of capes and are formed when the sea enters the land. See the difference? Gulf, Cape, Gulf, Cape. See it? But before we finish talking about coastal reliefs, we must mention islands. They are portions of land completely surrounded by water. Archipelagos is what we call many islands in a cluster. The Japanese archipelagos, for example, has 6,852 islands. Wow, that's a lot. Let's review what we have learned. Relief is the set of landforms on the Earth's surface. We can divide it into two groups, inland relief and coastal relief. Inland relief has mountains, plateaus, valleys and plains. Coastal relief has beaches, cliffs, peninsulas, capes, gulfs, islands and archipelagos. Have you noticed how varied our Earth's reliefs are? The next time you see a physical map full of green and brown colors, remember that each of these relief shades refers to a different landscape, a place that nature has shaped over a long, long time so that we can take care of it, respect it and enjoy our wonderful planet. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.